to the wonderful world of lyric analysis. My name is Danny Burt. I've been using lyric analyses as a music therapist for well over a decade now, and I am so pleased to have the opportunity to share some of my enthusiasm for this art form with you today. A little background to explain why this subject is of such interest to me. I began my music therapy studies at Loyola University, New Orleans, and then continued them in graduate studies at Shenandoah University. I've also taught at university, I've put out several music albums, and I've been a small press author and an editor, so as you can probably tell, I find words in musical format quite meaningful. Practicing music therapy has taken me through a variety of settings, with ages ranging from premature infants in the NICU through elders in hospice care. Lyric analysis doesn't fit all of those settings, of course. For the last few years, I focused my use of lyric analyses in the psychiatric and behavioral health settings, in an acute psychiatric hospital, a forensic facility, and in my private practice. After a little research, I found that fits with our zeitgeist. In a recent AMTA survey, 19% of respondents reported serving in mental health, making it the largest client population category. And of that group, 84% of us reported using lyric analyses. Given that it's such a common tool, we want our lyric analysis skills to be as refined as we can make them. And that is what this tutorial is designed to do. Refine your pre-existing lyric analysis skills. During this tutorial, you will set lyric analysis goals for a variety of clients in behavioral health, explore a range of ways to find the best song to fit those goals, Evaluate lyrics' impact from the standpoint of the individual word through the gestalt. Choose different musical styles to accompany lyrics with which to have different effects. Learn how to present lyrics to visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learners. And widen your own perspective on analysis. For the tutorial today, you will need pen and paper, because I'll be asking you to do some kind of micro homework assignments throughout, so keep them handy and be ready to refer back to things you've already written. You'll also need your favorite music streaming service open and connected to the internet, be that Amazon Music, YouTube, however you find your music. You also need a printer and paper. By the way, please don't print the attachments until we get to each. To give you an overview of what we're looking at organization-wise for this tutorial, we are going to be viewing the process of the analysis almost in reverse, because as counterintuitive as it may feel, lyric analysis is the last step in lyric analysis, at least for us therapists. After all, you can't help a client analyze a song until it's presented to them. Before you present it, you need to prepare it. Before you prepare a song, you would want to evaluate its viability. You can't evaluate the song before you've found it, of course. And before you go about finding a song, there has to be a therapeutic need for it. Putting that back in chronological order, this tutorial will follow the process of needing, finding, evaluating, prepping, presenting, and analyzing a song. Then we'll finish with a tutorial summary, a list of extra resources, and your bonus content options.